week on Loose Women. week on Loose Women. Loads coming up today as Sharon Osborne reveals her pain publicly about being bulimic for the past 35 years. We ask what's at the root of that? Do some people just have addictive personalities? Is it a case of can't stop or won't stop? And the man responsible for much of our front page news, media man Max Clifford, will be revealing the truth behind those headlines a little later on. Plus the sugar babes are here. They'll be singing their brand new single Push the Button. And one third of the babes, Heidi, will be joining us for a chat. Not got room for three of them, unfortunately. Never mind. Um, and as ever, we love to hear from you. So if you'd like to text us or email us on any of today's subjects, then please do that. Uh, if you want to send a text, send the word loose followed by your message to 63332. Or you can email us at loose.woman at itv.com. Now, in honour of our guest, Max Clifford, we have some headlining ladies for you today. Read all about it. It's a girl always sure to make a splash. It's Kim Marsh. <laughs> very own page three girl. Saga magazine, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely glamorous. Wait for it. Who is it? It's Karen McGuffin. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I'm in trouble. On the end, a roving reporter. She's certainly got a roving eye, that's for sure. She's yours for £17.50. It's <laughs> Jamie Cullen. I'm the editor-in-chief and buy the slot need editing. It's me, Kay Adams. <laughs> now, Carol. Ah, oh, yes. Saga what? Magazine's pin-up girl. So rude. No, did you see... That's next year. <laughs> you know how you've always said that you want a doggy? Oh, I'm dying wee, to get a dog. I know, you're dying for a wee doggy. Well, we thought we'd discovered the perfect dog for you last week. I don't know if you saw the show. I heard about that. We've got this that. wee dog. Did you see it? Look there. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't pop past the pub without going in for a pint. That's my kind of dog. <laughs> <laughs> you two were separated at birth. That was wonderful. Definitely. But the man just wouldn't give us the dog, so we were quite upset. But, fear not, we've got you a new dog, which we also think would be perfect. Because you want a dog to be huggy and cuddly and everything. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, I want yeah. a dog to sort of, you know, sit on my lap and be nice. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Isn't he made for you? A real smiley dog. He's a special dog, and I'm going to show you just how special he is. Would you mind just putting your leg up on the desk here? <laughs> my leg? Your leg. Your leg, thank you. What, what would you like to call him? Oh, there's these shoes that I'm not sure if I like or not. Have uh, you not else? decided yet? Have I haven't decided. Have you been painting? No, that's not paint. That's strategically placed bleach. I tell you, I should, <laughs> I should decide because you've worn them every day what for the it? last four months. What are you putting the dog on my leg for? <laughs> hey, have you still got circulation? <laughs> Just about, yeah. Right, there we go. Okay, right. now go and show everyone this lovely wee doggy. What do you... What? <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> She's little, you know. Is he finished? I, at least someone loves me. Oh, dear. That is the most ridiculous dog. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, awful when dogs do I that. know, I tell you what, I believe a lot of things are you, but not dogging. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, he's sweet, though. Isn't he sweet? You can have him. Max Clifford is on the show today, and... Can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell us your personal problems. Um, <laughs> now, we've got a bit nervous about Max coming on the show, because, you know, obviously he puts lots of stories in the papers, and also he keeps stories out, and... Yeah. There's a couple here that have got a few stories. So we thought, let's just come clean. So, Kim, let's just tell people. court martial. Kim's not pure and simple, with 17 squaddies and a right officer's mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought well, we would get it out. out. Yes, and Jane, Thanks. here we are. My three-in-a-bunk ship orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Diva McDonald. 
know she was the first Easy Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody knows that. It's common knowledge. I know. I know, I know. That, that, was, no, that was a joke. But it was coincidence that we had... <laughs> <laughs> coincidence that we had that cute wee doggy on hugging your leg in that mm. affectionate way, Cal. Because a piece in the weekend papers, I don't know if you saw it, that was saying that the best thing for a relationship or a very beneficial thing for a relationship is to have a ten-minute cuddle. Ten minutes? Yeah, ten-minute hug. Oh, no, I'd be so bored, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> ten seconds, and I'm like, okay, that's it, that's enough. <laughs> Oh, serious? You can have a hug in ten seconds, can't you? Ten minutes. Well, no, I could probably last a minute, I suppose. A minute? But then you start to look at the cobwebs and think, oh, what have I got to do? Ten minutes does seem a little bit excessive, no, doesn't it? No, but then you start patting them on the back and then they feel patronised and, and then you have to go no, I love a good cuddle. <laughs> Are I'm you a, hugging? Oh, I'm yeah. a right hugger, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. a hug. I, I like it better than, you know. Do you? I, I, <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'd rather have a hug any day. Seriously? Yeah, it lasts no. a lot longer, doesn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only like a ten minute. Yeah. I that. Was Henrik a hugger? Oh, absolutely not. Was I should not? have known then, you see, shouldn't I? I said, yeah. yes. No, I used to shake my hand. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I used to shake your hand. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's, no, it's true. That's not on, it's true, yeah. Bless him. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I like a good hug. Give me a bit of tactile. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 definitely. Because it's there's, you know, there's nothing better than having a nice hug and that feeling, especially. And I love, you know, my kids' cuddles are the best. They're the best uh, ones. Or even I like really, a little cuddle from yeah. kids. They really yeah. feel it. I don't you like know kids, what I mean? but. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever persuaded a kid to give you a cuddle? Yeah, yeah. My niece cuddles yeah. me, and actually, it's really quite. You know, the thing with kids is they really mean it. You yeah. know, they give you a proper great big hug and it, you think, oh, you know, someone really does quite like me. Yeah. Is it true you nearly went... <laughs> oh, is it true you nearly went into Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as a child catcher? <laughs> such a good part. Oh, well, if I were an actress, then maybe I would. Yeah, oh, like, no, no, hug about, I just... I, but what about hugging strangers? Because we've all got no. a bit more chance. If you no. see 15-year-old kids now, they're hugging each other all the time. Mm. I'd rather have died at 15 than hugging I don't like mate. this sort of new society hugging touchy-feely society that we've become. Not that I'm cold or frigid or anything, because <laughs> some people might say I am, but I just don't like the idea, you know, I hug my, my family and I hug my friends and people that I really like, and actually I think when I see my friends who I really like, I think a hug is better than, you know, this sort of showbiz kissing malarkey mm. that goes on, and mm. I can't stand it. But strangers who come up and kiss you or hug you, it's like, Go away, don't touch me, I don't know you. Do you know what I mean? It's just if you don't, if I don't know someone, then I just don't want to be touched by them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, but Jean, no, is it? I love, you see, I think strangers are just friends I haven't met yet. And uh, I know that sounds really pathetic. You're a walking cliche, oh, you, don't, you are. <laughs> I am. You don't go around hugging everyone, do you? No, not unless the one. I don't just go in random in the street and say, come here. <laughs> want hug. But yeah, you can yeah. usually tell in somebody's eyes, or, you know, if, if I've done a show or something, I come off. And some people just really want a hug. And I think that's lovely. Mm -hmm. And I know when I get home every night, and no matter what time of day it is, my mother's always there, and she gives me that embrace, and it's oh. like a light going on for me. Yeah. But what if they don't? Oh, Those people who you think need a hug and you're going up to them, they're thinking, oh, get off. <laughs> <laughs> get off! <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it's like the kissing thing as well, isn't it? It's like the double kissing business. Yeah. It just does my head in. Yeah, it's like, go not... away. Oh, it's just very... Will you wait to see where that dog in a dressing room later? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get a wee doggy cam in there. Me and my dog. <laughs> right, big kiss. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of ITV, uh, which we're doing, we've sold us an exclusive story about Jane and her rampant orgy to the press. Yeah. <laughs> We've raised 2,000, but that didn't raise a laugh with the audience. They were going, yes, rampant orgies, yes, that's right. Uh -huh. 2,000 pounds, uh -huh. going to one lucky viewer. Uh, for your chance to win it, all you have to do is answer the simple question. And hug Jane. Who played Karen McDonald in Coronation Street? Was it A, Saran Jones, B, Dame Helen Mirren, or C, Sherry Hewson? Call 0901293191. It calls cost one pound, but may vary from mobiles. Or text the word COMP, followed by A, B, or C, to 63337. Each text costs one pound, plus standard network charge. Entrance must be 18 or over. Terms and conditions at itv.com forward slash loosewomen. There you are. Good luck with that one.
Um, now, Sharon Osborne's about to release her autobiography. I don't know if it's her first or not, but it's an autobiography. Um, and she's serialising it in The Sun starting this week. And you can see the front page there for The Sun. She's saying that she battled with bulimia. She is still battling with bulimia after sort of 30 odd years. She was a teenager. Um, she's got it kind of under control, but it's still something that's there. And she puts it down to low self esteem. I have to, and Carol and I, I think, are in the same camp, and it's not something we particularly understand. No. Um, but you, you did suffer bulimia, didn't you? Yeah, uh, very briefly, uh, when I was uh, 15, 16, um, I did. I mean, thankfully, it didn't go on for too long, and I was able to control it. But, um, but yeah, I know what that's like. I, I mean, I can't ever imagine to dealing with it for 35 years. Mm. I can't ever imagine that, to be honest. But what pushed you into it, though? Well, I was just, I was in a stage school and there were a lot of girls and dancers and everyone was in their leotards and you would get ridiculed for putting on a pound, literally. And it was kind of pressure, you just felt so much pressure to be skinny and, you know, and, and I did it to, to fit in, basically, yeah. which is really 